Mm, there's a good one of me and my late dog Patty. Even though that's just a redrawn version of her. Dun dun dun! Yep. Yeah, from me, from real life to animation to hand drawn cartoon. And hand drawn capabilities growing better over time. In real life, I also created a number of websites starting with my Poke site. I had taken two HTML classes, so I, I know the raw data on Notepad as well as Netscape Composer HP HTML processor. After creating Science U, I featured him on the Poke site, and later decided to make the Science U site as a spin off from the Poke site. I event then eventually, Science U and Rose Shoe Great fan base grew and grew, and with the true good fans came the jealous, dark trolls, internet bullies. I was hacked a number of times before, and unfortunately, the Science U site was temporarily down, but as soon as I got some more money, I opened up a new account with different web hosting sites, but that, that layer got hacked. With new email addresses I kept secret from most anyone, the family was informed. I don't know how, but the trolls managed to get into, the, into those things in the past somehow. But currently, it is the, well, currently, it is the original and official Sanchi and Rose Juice site, also known as the Wikipedia. Story-wise, I described my ancient prophecy that I would take pen in hand, create an electric hedgehog that take the Sanchi Medallion from my neck, right here, to enclose the to enclose the darkest evil that would come out from there. This will be the transformation from me to Chris Chan Sanchi. Dun 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 dun. Pen in hand. Uh, real life, I have crafted the original Sanchi Medallion from Crayola Model Magic, clay, acrylic paints, key rings, super glue, and a necklace. And it does not grant me any powers in real life. But it does in the comics. Like I am able to access the attacks of some of my, about, of my electric hedgehogs I've created. I can perform any single attack at, at will. And mainly, Sarah most out, I transform into... First chance, side shoe. Soldier of love and honesty. In this form, I can execute my own personal selection of attacks as a normal electric he electric type hedgehog Pokemon with keen eye ability, including Mock Punch, Thunderbolt, and Hyper Beam. As well as, as in both human and Sanji form, I am the only being who can execute the special attack that inflicts bad luck and extreme misfortune with some damage to the foe. Used to be called Curse Ye Hameha, now it's called Shin Ye Hameha! Chris Chan Sanchu, that is me, and I, again, this is from the this art is to be the cover of book number ten from my Australian Gal Pound fan, who was nickname was Panda Halo. She is dead now, and I miss her. She was a great friend. Anyway, it was, yeah, Panda Grit, fantastic rendition. She was my partner at the time until her death. And now, the gaming proposition. Let me preface the subject with a spot of history between me and Nintendo. Da da da. I had a dream! Around June 1997, I had a dream of Sonic the Hedgehog on the original Game Boy. I had written a letter to Nintendo of America suggesting to work with Sega on a Game Boy Sonic title. Basically, they said I had rocks in my head. Yet now look, in 2001, Sonic Advance on Game Boy Advance. I pretty much foretold that outcome. Dun, dun, dun. And this would be the Argo from the Crossing Quarterly. In volume 179, May 2004 of Nintendo Power, I had been a long-time subscriber. The November before, I had videotaped a voiceover documentary of my Sanchu, a Quickville, and Animal Crossing on Nintendo GameCube. I got full credit for that documentary, which is now in the lower box right there. Special thanks to Christian from Virginia for his Sanchu documentary. Dun, 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 dun. Zoom in on the article. 
Soon after I was fe- soon after I was featured at Piedmont Community Community College's newsletter at the forum for being featured in Nintendo Power for my Sonic shoot and Quick Fill. Mate Sanju! Soon featured in Nintendo Power magazine! Also, I had layers to be there with high regards to a DS game sprung in reference to mot- momentary progress at that time. That layer appeared in this issue. With the screenshot. Christian Z! From Virginia, via the internet. Now we can talk about a bit more about my current ideas for Sanju start in the video game world. Should we get 10 feet off the ground on the whole thing, you may use this cover for the following MP Nintendo Power issue that would follow. Dun 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 for Sanju's adventure on Nintendo GameCube or Nintendo Wii, maybe. My game title ideas. Before or during the drawing of the number zero book and afterwards, I came up with a few star type ideas for video games around Sanju Roast You. Firstly, Sanju's Adventure on Nintendo GameCube. A Christian Chandler production. First, yeah, as featured on the first eight previously uploaded complex, complex that game, subject to upgrade for Wii and maybe go multi console, never on head spots. Hets on head spots. Miyamoto san, yeah, had a copy of my introductory ideas. Turns out that I was talking to an imposter at that time when I updated this. Anyway, then to follow, Game Boy Advance versus Sanchi's Adventure, and only on GBA, Pokemon Lightning version. And then much later, Christian Weston Chandler's Adult Chronicles would definitely go multi console, never on head spots. This one would basically be me going through my ordeals with Sanchi, Roshu, and the rest of the Electric Hedgehogs tagging along, like in Shadow the Hedgehog. I would be able to transform into Chris Chan's Sanchi in this game. Multi console between PS3, PS2, Nintendo Wii. Off to a zappingly extreme great start, uh, as rumored. It was uh, at the time I updated this. Uh, Takashi Tezuka, Nintendo can correct me on this if I am mistaken or verify. Took, he took it upon himself with the most appreciated inquiry of my approval as the original creator of Sanchi Roshu in the world of Quick Bill to create a Sanchi Roshu video. Villager for Animal Crossing City Folk, who now will be likely to be zipping along Sanchu Crossing and mind the traffic. <laughs> as a fan of Animal Crossing since the GameCube title, could have, re- could have released as a US version of Nintendo 64 title as well as the Animal Crossing movie, I often like to quote Blathers after going on with the expression, but I digress. So thank you all for teaching me that expression. Sanchu Roshu and Quickville, Nintendo can be can and will be profiting big from my well grown fan space as well as Sega and Sony. I personally give good word of mouth to Nintendo systems and games included in references in my comic book series. Sonic U and Rose Shoe on Animal Crossing City Folk would be, would be a great raise of sales of Wii consoles, Animal Crossing City Folk game discs, and the Wii Speak. Also with me starring in the games as the voices of both myself and the original Sonic U and my my past well, my sweetheart, to be as the voice of Rose Chu, that there will be three less voice actors to hire. This is a great start in profits from the electric hedgehog that started humbly from the mind of a well-rounded, church-going, high-functioning, autistic, recovered individual. Nintendo will see good profits in the time frame of the game's release. Sanchu, go! Thank you very much for your time, and I look forward to working with y'all but each of y'all in person very soon on the Sanchu project. Peace. My contact info. Thank you very much and have a safe day. Peace out.